Hi, it's Candy, and you're joining me on a shoot behind the scenes for a kind of 60s, 70s ethereal, euphoria feel vibe. We're gonna be using the Lens Baby Omni filters. I am an ambassador, so there is a little discount code if you wanna use it in the description, or I'll put it probably here or something. Um, so please join us. Uh, it's gonna be great, it's a whole team going on. There's quite a lot of commercial upstairs, which is why I'm downstairs, the entrance, just so you don't get confused. But we're gonna go through and show you just what the Omni filters can do and how easy they are to use. Okay, so let's go through the Omni filters I'm using. This is the stretch glass. You can kind of see the effect there as I spin it around so beautifully for you. Uh, this is kind of called the Seahorse or the Crystal Seahorse. This has lots of cool factors, which you'll see. I use it mostly. The rainbow film, I don't use it much in this series, but you can see just there when the light glimmers it, the rainbow. This is mirror on one side and then like an orange tone mirror on the other and the smoky glass, which has a great effect. The Omni filters just simply clip onto the front of your lenses using a magnetic ring or you can hand hold them. And while my team here, are, as you can see, are getting Abby, the model, ready for this 70s look, everything you're going to see in my images are actually captured through the camera. There isn't any overlays put on. Just using the Omni filters, which can really elevate your portrait photography. And but in particular, when you're trying to do this sort of very stylized look that's very in at the moment. But I use these at weddings. I even have used them in product shots. I've got all those glasses. They're all mine. So we put Abby in front of a two light setup, really simple strip box and a beauty dish, nothing fancy, even the background's really cheap, just some foil curtains you might get in a party store and a thrifted outfit. Admittedly, this was a find, okay. But there's no fancy, all the portraits have got um, the Omni filters attached and the, nothing else has been added. There's no overlays other than some mild skin retouch. So this is a stretch glass. You can particularly see that in the bottom corner there where you can see the images sort of stretched out. The light's captured it and it's given this white haziness. I really like it. Some grain, some skin retouch, and we've got a 70s portrait. So this is technically two Omni filters attached. This is the stretch glass down at the bottom corner, as you can see quite clearly. And then the very top, that haziness is created by the rainbow film. Because the light didn't directly pass over it, it didn't give us that rainbow effect. But what it does do, it gives this hazy effect. But I really like them. So just to show you what it's like when you're videoing, this is me just capturing with my digital SLR with the various Omni filters attachment. I think, in fact, this one was the Crystal Seahorse, as you can see, and it just gives this beautiful reflection. You can move it around, and it's even great for video, which I think you'll agree here. While Lens Baby do offer Omni filters with two magnetic rings in two various sizes, sometimes I handhold um, just for ease, and as you can see here, easily done in this clip where I'm just using the Crystal Seahorse to get those pictures of Abby. Hi, this is Future Me, because if you watch the video, you'll notice that I talk about putting the Omni filters on my camera, but never actually show them on my camera. So this is Future Me showing past me what I actually did for your benefit. So I've got my digital SLR set up here. It's a full frame, regardless of what camera you're using, it doesn't really matter because you can handhold these and you can also get rings, step up rings and step down rings to fit your camera. So don't worry about that. I got my kit in this little tweed case tweedy case, belt case. Um, I, I'm not sure if they still come in this, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so on in this case, you get the magnetic ring, which I'm gonna put onto my digital SLR. This is where it's gonna go wrong because I am terrible at putting anything on under pressure. So let's just, oh, okay, that was easy. I thought I was gonna drop that. <laughs> so this is the magnetic ring on, okay? Do not come for me how messy the lens looks. It's been in storage, it's my old backup lens, but yeah, now you can see it on, see? you've got these like flat magnetic um arms if you like so they go on there they get two of them and you have to put two on i'm just showing you for two obviously and then you get these arms on the new ones which means that you can push the filters out if you want to so i'll put them on anyway so then all you do is the rainbow one whack it on and i can move it in and out if i wanted to with the new arms or if i take it off all right it's a strong magnet they're not going to fall off by the way I can put it onto the smaller one and you can move these around and you can have all of them on if you wanted. I have been known to walk around. Let me just load these up. Let's get another mirror out. There we go. That's my favorite, the crystal seahorse at the moment. Right, there you go. You look, it looks cool. So it's really easy to do. There you go. That's how they fit on. Thanks future me to pass me. One of the benefits of this being all handheld is that you can easily direct your model and get her to change her head, shake, I should yeah, I said shake her hair up just to get a bit more floof in it. But you can see the effect it has immediately and know perhaps if you need to change something in your background or you, you can just instantly see it and that's the satisfaction. This isn't a complicated Photoshop process. This can be done in camera. It's very organic and I think really tactile and that's what I love about Omnifilters. They 
fit so quickly into my carry bag that I can take them pretty much everywhere I go and I do love them and there is a variety of them there's expansion packs I have quite a simple pack the original with the free and then I was sent the mirrored ones um, but obviously I would love to get the other ones but in due course girl in due course don't forget Omni filters can actually be used as a subtle enhancement to portraits. Here I've used the rainbow filter to get this sort of ambient light effect in. It's not overpowering but it complements. And as Future Me showed you, it's really easy for self-portraits because you can clip them in with the magnetic uh, arms and away you go. And I use them quite a lot in my self-portraits for subtle effects and also more dramatic effects. One of the things about OmniFilter that I love the best is that you organically, as in in camera, get to see what happens when you apply these OmniFilters. You don't have to wait until you get into Photoshop. You can look in the back of the camera, you've live view, you, use your viewfinder and see immediately what you're getting. And the, the possibilities, I hate to say cliche, are endless because you just keep moving around, change them, and if the light catches them, which I'm going to show you in some more images, you can see they also offer a bit of a, like, a flare themselves. So this is my makeup team just working on our model, but as you can see, the different reflections as we were, the light was hitting the crystal also gives us an effect, not just the effect the crystal gives. So there's lots of possibilities, which is what I really like about them as well. And I just wanted to share a few more images. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you choose. Get some Omni filters. Remember, there's a discount code.